Four years after the COVID-19 pandemic shut down the world, scientists are warning the next global health threat may not be a virus at all. Fungal infections kill an estimated 2 million people a year. Now experts say it's getting worse. ABC News medical unit producer Sony Salzman is hosting a special episode of Start Here, diving into this issue, and Sony's here with me now. You know, I can't help hearing this and thinking about the HBO show, The Last of Us, that so many of, watched, of us watched a few months ago. Talk to me about the, the reality here. How serious are these concerns and who's most at risk? Well, Diane, thank you so much for having me. And you know, you brought up the show, The Last of Us, and to be honest with you, that was part of what got us started on this reporting at the medical unit. So The Last of Us, as, as viewers know, is a fictional show about a zombie apocalypse. That's science fiction, but what is real is that the World Health Organization put out a priority pathogens list, including fungi on that list. It was a major warning that this is getting worse. Now, to answer your question about who's really getting sick from this, right now, it's people with underlying medical conditions, people who are immune compromised. But in the course of our reporting, I interviewed two otherwise healthy people who got very sick from valley fever, which is a fungal infection that exists in the American Southwest. One woman, a mom, she was bedridden for months. And another man, the, the infection actually traveled into his brain. His doctors had to drill a port into his skull and he will need to receive lifelong medication injected directly into his brain. So just goes to show how serious this is becoming. Wow. Now, scientists say that climate change could be making this worse. So I'm wondering, how does that work? And how do you get these infections? So I'm so glad that you brought up climate change because it is such an important piece of the puzzle here. Climate change is making all of this worse because if you take a step back and think about it, you and me, we're both have, you know, bodies that are around 98.6 degrees. That's pretty hot, honestly. I mean, it's too hot for most fungi to thrive. And so historically, this hasn't been much of an issue. But if you layer on climate change, fungi, like other pathogens, they can evolve. And so fungi are evolving to survive and thrive in an increasingly warming planet. And what that means, according to the CDC, is that they are going to become more adept at surviving in our 98.6 degree bodies. So what's the cure for these kinds of fungal infections? And can you get a vaccine? So. That's a really good question with a complicated answer. The short answer is that there is no vaccine for any fungal infection. Fungal infections are a diverse range of species, a diverse range of, range of infections. So we do have some tests, some treatments for some types of infections, but there are no vaccines. There is hope though. That valley fever disease that I mentioned earlier, there is a vaccine that is coming up. For now, it is just for dogs. But there is hope that eventually, if it gets USDA approval for dogs and works well in them, it could be on its path to getting approval for humans years from now. And interestingly, in the course of our reporting, we found that former NFL tight end Rob Gronkowski, he is a dog lover. He is a major champion of this vaccine. And so scientists are hopeful that with the World Health Organization and the CDC making a really big deal about this, mm. these neglected diseases, that it'll drive more funding towards vaccines. And Tony, I'm out of time, but are there any behaviors or things that we can do to avoid or lower our risk of getting this kind of infection? You know, it really depends on where you live. So it's about awareness, right? Valley fever is endemic to the Southwest. If you live there, you have to be careful around gardening because it lives in the dirt, right? Whereas there was a big paper mill outbreak um, in Michigan. And so, you know, it really depends. It's gonna be situationally dependent. The biggest thing is advocating for your health because fungal infections are often missed. Um, because doctors think they're bac bacterial or viral. So if you're persistently sick, you've been treated with antibiotics, you've been treated with antivirals, it's not working, you know, speak up. All right, ABC News Medical Unit producer, Sony Salzman. Sony, thank you. Of course, thank you. And to hear the deep dive on this story and more stories like it, check out the Start Here podcast. New episodes drop weekdays at 6 Eastern, wherever you get your podcasts.